Welcome to the Successfully Simple Show, the overwhelmed freelancer's guide to making more while doing less. I'm your host, Erin Flynn, and I've been running my own freelance business since 2012, making every mistake along the way so that you don't have to. On this podcast, we'll be diving into ways that you can simplify your business, establish clear boundaries with your clients, and minimize your work hours while maximizing your profit and your life. Let's dive in. Cash, dinero, bucks, moolah, credits, or whatever you want to call it, we are talking about it. Six figures. If you're not making at least six figures, you are a failure as a freelancer and an entrepreneur. And once you hit that six figure milestone, baby, you better be ready to scale to seven figures or why are you even doing this? Get a job in a cubicle if you're not going to go all in. That is what we're told in this online world. We are told by strangers on the internet that if we're not Scrooge McDucking a bank vault of cold, hard cash, we are doing it wrong. And yes, Scrooge McDucking is a verb and no, it is not dirty. Except that money really is filthy and swimming in it would be totally gross. Yeah, like don't, don't do that. Anyhow, the point is, is that we're being told by literal strangers on the internet that we are not successful or We are based only on how much money our businesses bring in. These strangers don't know us. They have no idea who we are. And yet we let them tell us whether we should feel good about our businesses or like we should give up. We have got to stop listening to them. Truthfully, most freelancers I know don't need to make seven figures to be happy. They don't need to make multiple six figures. A lot don't even need to crack a hundred thousand, but we're told that is how we know that we have quote unquote made it. Now, of course, income needs vary. If you live in a really expensive city or if you have a family to support and you're the only provider, then your numbers are likely to be near or crack the hundred thousand dollar mark. But if you live somewhere where the cost of living is really reasonable or affordable, then pulling in $50,000 a year might be all you need to support a comfortable lifestyle, even if you have a family or want to go on vacation. Making an arbitrary number that some online guru thinks you should make and feeling like a failure if you don't is not what's important. What is important is knowing your own real numbers and making an action plan to reach them. Forget what online strangers are telling you and get real solid numbers to aim for. Not only are you more likely to hit your goals if they're based on actual numbers, not arbitrary ones that sound flashy, but when your income goals are based on what you actually need, you'll feel much more content when you reach them. Too long didn't listen? Stop listening to strangers on the internet who think you should earn a certain amount. Figure out your real numbers and make a plan to reach them. Thanks so much for tuning in. Any links mentioned in this episode will be included in the show notes. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, please do me a favor and subscribe on whatever platform you like to listen to podcasts on. And if you really enjoyed the show, please leave me a review because it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. Now go take action.